Hello and welcome back to Arcanum. We are in a city where there is no ambience. Sort of mostly. Oh no, here we go. It's noise. I'm new here. Can you help me? What can I help you with? Where is the store? An alley off Devonshire Way. Longston. Kensington Broadway. Paperboy. Let's read the newspaper. Thrilling papers to be doing. Can magic and technology be joined? Sir David Moody. Professor Jules. For. Fuck this. So small. Vorvin Stern. Today made. Covenant to an engender understanding twixt engineer and magus by fashioning an amalgam of their comparative works. Fuck me. Is there a way to zoom? No. His he titles his pa peacemaker the magical firearm. This device will employ the enigmas of the technology of the technologists and the conundrum of the arcane to provide the world's very first incomparable warrior contrivance. The professor said. The professor. The professor studied for 17 years under Major Donovan Pride. And he ventured the technological. Jules was a fool then and he's a fool now. Magic will not suffer his ignorant trifling, said Major's Prize. Hereby, Bumbo, an engineer who attended the conference, said, If it works, great, but it won't. Okay, if it works, great, but it won't. Undersuaded by his peers, rejection of his innovation notions, Professor Orenstern depicts the method which he will employ in fashioning his contrivance. Co co fuck me. Contrivance. I shall secure a smoothbore musket. A smoothbore musket. And to make it pass through magic. through magical apparatus as. As oh, apparatus as a demon for sub augmenting the accuracy thereupon, both Major's Pride and the and Engine Bumper agreed a rare happen happenstance that such a binding was unnatural and should not be attempted. Quoth, quoth Pride. He has difficulty for fastening his chances. How then shall he secure a demon? Gonna shoot his damn foot off, muttered Bumba. The professor has promised an exhib ex exhibition of his personal of his product as soon as it's operational. Fuck me, that was way more difficult than it should have been. So Jules Vor Vorvinstern. Got to keep an eye out for that dude. Devonshire. Is that the alley?
Hello. Oh, it's hoist. So that means it's important. And who might you be to ask a dwarf his name? Bloody ignorant outlander, I'd say. As if a dwarf would give his name. Excuse me. You don't need to take such treatment from this dwarf. Bloody annoying little runt, if you ask me. I mean, look Noted. Putting on airs like he's some sort of native dwarf. I'd be surprised if he's ever even been out of the city in his entire life. You can always smell a city dwarf a mile away. He's probably got a manicure. His beard looks a bit scraggly, too. Probably out past his bedtime. I was saying that it was bloody rude of you to be asking me, a dwarf, for his name. It's not something to be thrown out and away like the day's rubbish. Hmm. I suppose you're none to blame, stranger. Perhaps I am a little cock-tempered myself. Please forgive my harsh words. You may call me Magnus. Magnus. Well, dwarves are an ancient race, and our traditions run deep. A dwarf's true name, his family name, is a sacred thing. A thing of mystery and power. Magnus is my common name. If I knew you well, I'd also tell you my family name. But Magnus will do for now. I'm eating an apple, by the way, just in case you're wondering what all this crunching is. Dwarven names are symbolic. A reflection of our history, who we are. A dwarf who gives just anyone his name has no respect for that history. It's nice to meet an outlander who tries to understand our ways. Well met, my friend. Now, how can I help you? What is it that you need to know? Yes, I do. And I curse the day I ran across the devils who own it. Ungodly bunch they are. I can only guess what goes on behind those doors. That building is the headquarters for the infamous P. Skylar and Sons. What can I divulge, you ask? Where would you like me to begin? P. Skylar and Sons is the oldest business in Tarant, a trader in jewelry and the occasional rare or sought-after trinket or bauble. Their business reputation is untarnished, second to none. Strange. Strange doesn't begin to describe what they are. Do you know that no one has seen the supposed owner, Polonius Schuyler, or his sons in more than 15 years? But even then, the gentleman who saw them, a trader in gems from Ireland, died a week later from what they could only describe as consumption. I said he ate too much or he got eaten. Have you heard about the Eyeless Five? Eight years ago, there were five ruby pendants sold at auction through P. Schuyler and Sons. All the ladies who wore them were murdered, their eyes plucked from their heads. What he said is not what he sometimes to say. Why do madmen do anything? They're bloody madmen, that's why! If you're not going to use the sense you were born with, then I'll not continue. Suffice it to say that P. Schuyler and Sons is an extremely unusual company. And I'm not the only one to think so. Who knows what atrocities are committed within these walls? People swear they hear strange noises within the building when the sun sets. Clanking of chains, moanings, muffled screams. Do you see the symbol carved above their name? The bird with the snake's head. Do you know what it is? The Dariyanka, the ancient order of the dead. It's a bit like a... Well, I can't see it. So I couldn't tell you. A griffin? Use your eyes, woman. It's obviously a most dark and dreaded talisman. I might ask you the same, my friend. You seem awfully curious about P. Schuyler and Sons. What brings you here? Interesting. I, too, am investigating one of their products. I saw it for sale in a pawn shop down the merchant's quarter, 
and it had their imprint. Would you like to see it? <coughs> the dwarf shows you a rather plain looking bronze bracelet with some faded carvings barely visible along its outer surface. On the inside, you can see the imprint of P. Schuyler and Sons. Don't you see? There, a cross. And there, a sunburst. All of these are old dwarven characters, symbols in a lost language. These are landmarks in my people's history, milestones for the dwarven age. Do you see these dwarven gauntlets I wear? They were given to me by my grandfather, who in turn received them from his. Do you see the symbol carved on them? It's the same as the symbol carved on the bracelet. These gauntlets are the only link I possess to my ancestors, my clan, lost to my family since before any of us can remember. Don't ask about the plan. That's uh, apparently rude. That, my friends, is the point of this whole story. I've tried on multiple occasions to speak with the Skylers concerning this bracelet and where they got it. But I've been stonewalled by their employees from the very beginning. They're hiding something. I know it! The sources behind their inventory, the reasons for their reclusiveness, who knows? But I do know that I ain't gonna find out where they got this bracelet, regardless of what is necessary to do so. Would you like to join my growing army? No. I think you're a bit green just yet. Come back after you've seen a little more of the world. The dwarf always chooses his companions wisely. And I just don't know about you. I do wish you luck in your search, though. If I do find anything out, I'll share it with you. Gotcha. It's unlocked. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> well, there's someone in there. Locked and locked. The trap door. A while, but if I remember correctly, you can get in through the sewers. Sure. Continue to explore the Franklin. That is very clearly a door. Who the fuck makes windows that large in a house with one floor? In the Dolman. The Dolman. Ask you first. Um, no. Right, let's. Charm. I wanted to see you again. Mm. A train. Modern decor, rooms richly decorated and cheap. University Park.
more adventurous. This is powering down. It's more fun when you make the sound effects yourself. It's with guns door. I wonder where he is. Oh, the sewer. I can get in through here. Ooh, I was also supposed to be seeing someone in here. Team was in Tarant. I believe. If I remember what Virgil said. It was here, yeah, I think. Last time I played. I really wish I could zoom out some. Just opening magic now. So either this one or this one, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Yes. In the name of Nazareth and the Panari, welcome you to our temple. How may I help you today, right? Elder Wakim. I was told he was supposed to be here. Uh, sure. Let's have a look at this pamphlet. That is a very thick pamphlet. What is it that you want of me? Um... What can I answer for you? I suppose we should try and find this P. Schuyler and Sons in Tarrant. Perhaps they will know who the owner of the ring is. Well, I guess we'll go to the sewers then. If 
Rakeem ain't here. Gotta fucking trace all the fucking way back across town. Listen. I suppose we could just go. Doesn't have to be specifically that sewer grate we go in through. Any will do. I don't see any more on the map. Like, here is a pretty slow game. It's when you spend hours on end just chatting with locals. Or not. Manhole seems to build a shut. A small plateau on it. Read seals. Oh, yes. That reminds me. You can't get in through conventional means. You have to face it. I think there's only like two ways in. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah. What the fuck is this? this ah. Fuck. Fucking ants. Little fucking piece of shit. Whose house is this? Mr. Bates, industrial slips here. I'd like to talk to him. I work for the newspaper. Oh. What about you? I think I'll end this episode here. See you in a few moments. Well, I'll. Fuck, you know what I, you know what I fucking mean.